The Unfair Pair is lovely. I am a big fan of Phil and Lil. They're definitely my favourite Rugrats characters. So any episode that focuses on them is going to be a winner with me. This is the second segment of the 18th episode of the third season of Rugrats. And it starts with a very sweet scene of Phil and Lil settling down in their pink and blue cribs to go to bed. And the next day... Uh, Betty and Howard are looking after Angelica, and it's really nice to spend a, a decent amount of time in the DeVille's house and, um, you know, getting to spend time with Betty and Howard. I think they're great, particularly Betty. Betty's a brilliant character. And Phil and Lil are playing with each other, and Angelica's jealous that she's, you know, being left out. They're not doing it on purpose. They're just used to spending time with each other. And... Angelica decides to tell them that one of them has to be the favourite and one of them is a reject. And reject is a pretty big word and it's probably the first time a lot of young viewers are familiar with that word. And it's quite an interesting choice for them to make to introduce young viewers to such a negative word. And I'm not 100% happy with that because I feel like if a person feels like a reject, it can be really damaging. And I think younger children could have just gone a few more years without being familiar with that term. But the actual episode itself is really good. Angelica tries to convince Phil or Lil that the opposite is the favourite. And there's there are some pretty great scenes where they see things from their own perspective. For example, my favourite one is where Lil sees Phil getting a full bottle of milk and Lil gets next to nothing she's wearing black which is really gorgeous and um she's obviously like in rags and Phil's treated like a king and they both see the opposite and I thought it was very creative and it worked very well and I imagine that this episode could you know maybe plant the idea in some siblings that one of them is the favorite but hopefully if they keep watching the episode, um, well, I won't say exactly what happens, but it was certainly very interesting for Angelica. And I loved Charlotte's closing comment. I thought that was brilliant. Um, so it's a very well written episode, very well animated. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. Also had to laugh at the bit where Angelica called Phil and Lily incontinent. She meant to say incompetent. Um, I imagine as a child, I wouldn't have known the word incontinent. So that joke would have gone over my head. But watching it now, uh, I really appreciated it. And that's one of the great things about analysing Rugrats as an adult. There are things in it that I just wouldn't have picked up on as a child. And I have a real appreciation for how well written it is. Also very well animated. And I love Phil and Lil. So I have to say, it's a really good episode. Definitely um, one that I really enjoyed. The Unfair Pair is one that I'd happily watch again.